What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Rippin' Packs. It is Friday, and you know what Friday is? Friday with friends. And I got my buddy Sean here, Sean Dawes. Filmmaker, writer, workout buddy, fantasy footballer who drafted some weird ass teams and still kept, kept doing good. <laughs> Hi there. I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. We actually met years ago back in Portland and uh, he moved down to LA to do some film school stuff. And he, uh, well tell me, tell everybody. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a weird industry, I'll tell you that much. But anyway, so we met back then. Uh, he, he was a jack of all trades. He'd do camera, he'd do sound, uh, write, direct. AD, whatever. That's just like what it is in this industry. Whatever hat you can wear, like right now I'm wearing this stupid ass Rams hat because I didn't want to wear Niners today because it didn't match my shirt. I'm still a Niners fan and yes, the Rams are in the NFC West, but I live in LA. So what are you going to do? Probably throw the hat away, but still. Anyway. Become a Chargers fan. I actually am thinking about it. As, as, as for my AFC team, I'm actually thinking of the Chargers as my AFC team because nobody cares about them here. Well, you have a quarterback that just got drafted from Oregon. Yes. Which true. we're from. Yes. So you kind of have to represent. True, true. And again, you have to represent, and nobody cares about the Chargers here. So might as well. Niners still, but, you know, I'll go for the Chargers. Sean here, he likes the... Uh, yeah, I'm still a Seahawks fan. But the Seahawks are not bad this year. <laughs> He is a true Seahawks fan. He's also, being from the Northwest, a true fan of the Northwest teams. So yeah, Russell Wilson. Yeah, yeah. MVP. Well, after last game, I don't know, but. Ah, uh, just one game, I mean, come on. Yeah. You could say a lot about the 49ers. <laughs> I could say a lot, and there's not much to talk about because of injuries. We've been pretty bad this year, but at least it's been injuries and other things, not just shitty players, so. Yeah, anyway, so ripping packs, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna rip some football. Cause we're talking football, we're gonna rip some football. We're gonna rip open a blaster box of prestige football. I know it's been around for a while, but I have a couple more, so might as well. But on top of that, we're gonna go with some Donruss football as well. Now after the Donruss, we got a couple of uh, fat packs, absolute. Maybe we'll get some rookies that aren't damaged. We'll find out. And to cap it off, a cello pack of mosaic football. We all know the goodness that comes out of these. So that being said, Sean, you get to pick whatever we want to open first. All right, let's do the uh, do these guys. Absolute. All right, you got your pack. Now t tell me a little bit uh, because Don Russ, they were a baseball yes. brand, and then they switched to football. When was they, that? They back in the I want to say in the early 2000s when uh, Topps got the the contract for. Uh, for baseball. Donruss pretty much and Fleer both went away. Again, this is me learning about everything now from the past. So Donruss was absorbed by Panini as a brand, same like Score. Fleer just doesn't exist anymore. So Donruss- I had a lot of Fleer cards. Oh yeah, see Fleer, <laughs> Fleer had some cool stuff, but it, during the whole, you know, Junk Wax era, they got completely dominated. Um, and some of the stuff's still cool, like the 87 Fleer I still like. Um, 84 Fleer is a nice set. It was but, the red and then it went to the blue, right? Oh, they just kept changing it in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah every, every year was a different color. But yeah, so I mean, that's where any of those brands would come back now and they're more based on, um, they're definitely football. Donruss, there is Donruss, but they're also doing a version called Optic, which is more of a higher end version of Donruss, but it's Optic and they'll do the rated rookies in that. Okay. So we'll get some rated rookies in the Donruss box. Nice. And we might pull some good stuff out of this. Absolutely, you never know. Like, kaboom. Let's see if we can get the kaboom. <laughs> Kaboom's the one you want. That's, okay. That's like the ultra rare cards. So, all right, fire away. It's your pack. Let's go. Let's all see what we get here on Rippin' Packs. Be sure to like, subscribe, you know, and get that notification bell when you're bored. Here we go. Pack number one of Absolute Football. When was the last time you opened a pack? Years. <laughs> Years. Okay, well, here we go. Who do all right, we... what do we got? We got Julio. Julio Jones. Jones. Nice. Get, uh, get this on there camera. Boom. Who is, we were just talking about Julio not too long ago. Got uh, Dwayne Haskins, hopefully. Hey. He'll uh, pan out, or uh, maybe a new team. Pull back a little bit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Carson Wentz, not doing too well in the season, but uh, it's Carson Wentz. But he's getting there. 
Tyreek Hill. Nice. You're on my fantasy pick, team. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he's doing okay, but my team ain't. Minka Fitzpatrick. That was an awesome trade. Yeah, it was. For the Steelers. Uh, Devontae Parker. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Devontae Parker. Yeah. Great receiver. Doesn't get a lot of credit. Because he's in Miami. Stephon Gilmore, great corner, which I thought the Patriots were actually going to trade him this year. They were t there was a lot of talk about that. Keenan Allen, Keenan there's, Allen, there's nice. a Charger card. And he's also a green. It's a green parallel. Nice. And Alvin, Alvin Kamara. Kamara. Green parallel. We got the, these little special cards. These now. are the rookies. So uh, Jared Pinkney. I don't know if he's been doing too well. He's a tight end for the Falcons, so that's... Probably takes, who takes they, him for Austin Hooper. That's kind yeah, of who they yeah, probably... Yeah, they got rid of Hooper for him. Dalvin. Dalvin, star card. We, uh, we're getting some... Uh, we're getting a Vikings heavy pack here. Showcase that. That's... Yeah. He's... he's yeah, he's good. And Justin then, Jefferson. Yeah. Doing awesome. He's doing awesome. Pick me again. Again, seeing that's the... Uh, that's the... Whatchamacallit. And then... Uh, Maybe you could trade that one. <laughs> four, four, the, yeah. Four. <laughs> I need him. Swift. Who is now... Uh, is on concussion protocol. The Lions, yeah, he just oh, happened. Wow. Uh, just happened yesterday. Here's a rising star, Michael Pittman. Yeah, from uh, from USC. Yeah, wide receiver. Yeah, Rugs. Rugs Dude, this is a, a lot of this is a pretty time. nice uh, uh, specialty uh, uh, receivers and uh, running back pack. Yeah, so Tyler Johnson. He's doing well. Jalen Johnson from the Bears. Corner. Okay. Yeah. yeah, quarterback. Oh, there we go. Nice, Brandon Ayuk. Ayuk. He's had a solid season. Not, I mean, it's not rookie of the year type, but he's had. The Niners have blown this year, but that's a great. He's going to do well for them once he gets a chance to really, once they actually start utilizing him with a real quarterback. And then uh, Peoples Jones from the Browns. He is a receiver as well. Donovan's Peoples Jones. And guess what? You get to go to the Super Bowl to be a kid reporter. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. Do they, All right. Do you think they'll tell? Uh, uh, just, just shave. Just shave. shave. Yeah, just shave and keep the glasses. I think it'll be good. <laughs> Alright, so, you know, get nice, some rookies in that. I mean, obviously you should be pulling rookies with Absolute. So, let's see what I get. Let's see if we can get some magical goodness. We got some Vaughn Miller action, who is out for the year. Nice. Terry, scary Terry McLaughlin for the Redskins, which is now known as the Washington football team. <laughs> Sorry, it's all PC. And then we have Marvin Jones Jr., one of the two Marvins in Detroit. There's also Marvin Hall, who's had a nice year since Galladay's been out. Yep. And then we have Tredavious White of the Bills. Good player. DJ Chark, do 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 DJ Chark, do 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 DJ Chark. With the crappy Jaguars. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of hit and miss this year with uh, the quarterback shuffle. Yeah, because you don't know who's throwing to you. Although Lutton from uh, Oregon, Oregon State. State yeah. yeah. That's another Northwesterner right there. Then we have Chris Carson, who has been the other bane of my existence on my fantasy team this year. Uh, and we got, oh, that's a nice, nice, that's a nice numbered Brian Edwards rookie awesome. card here. That's a nice little pull. What is this? This is the uh, 37 out of 149. Awesome. I'll put down below what this actually is, but that's a nice, that's a definite hit right there. So can you tell us a little bit about between the differences on that this card between the regular ones? It's just, it's what they've done with Panini is they've done a lot of those shimmers, the mosaics, they've done a lot of color variations. That's their big thing. And so with them doing something like this, it makes it stand out. They don't put a true count of how, not, they'll tell you like 149 of these cards exist, but they won't give you an actual count of, you know, like your per pack count. You don't know what the odds truly are when you're getting something like this. So I know there's 149 of them. It's <laughs> Brian Edwards. Um, I'd like it to be like Justin Herbert or Joe Burrows, but hey, it's still a cool pull. Well, we still got more. So. I still got more, but I don't think I'm gonna pull that one again. <laughs> uh, we got Josh Allen for the Bills with the nice green sub subset there. And then Larry Fitzgerald, one of the best receivers in the game with the green, that's a hit. And then we have a green, Raekwon Davis, nothing like a uh, linebacker nice. to add to my collection of green rookies. And then we have, is this Phil? oh, I thought it was Eli for a second. It's not Eli, it's Phil Sims doing fantabulous work for the CBS network. Bill, Big Phil. Big Phil. And then nice, Josh Jacobs, stargazing. 
see that little shimmer I was talking about? Yeah. They do a lot of that foil shimmer and things like that. You'll see it definitely in the mosaic. I have him on my fantasy team. Although he's he's been hit and miss this year. He's he's a great running back, but he's just not. Yeah. And this guy is not my PC, but he inevitably is going to be because I pull him in every damn pack. <laughs> Noah Igbahuni of the Dolphins. Sorry, dude, you're going in the comments hall because I have way too many. J.K. Dobbins, I love this guy. He's nice. going to be the future of the Ravens running back. Then Xavier McKinney, who's just... <laughs> he's a good safety, though. He is, but he's just standing around. He's like waiting. That's all he's doing. He's like, look at me. Hey, you want me to pose? I'm posing. I think he's waiting for makeup to, to show up, and it's yeah. just not there yet. It's actually kind of a cool card. <laughs> it's as stupid as it sounds, because there's no action to it. There's, it's pretty basic. Then we have Jeremy Chin of the Panthers. Um, Another good safety. See, he knows his football. Cam Akers of the of the Rams. Florida State. One of, one of the many running backs now in, with the Rams since they had replaced Todd Gurley. I think I think he's going to break out like Delvin Cook did. Uh, it's just oh. going to take another year or two. It's yeah, and they they have the system. They can totally use him for that. Then Keyshawn Vaughn for the Buccaneers. And then we've got DJ Dallas. Your favorite running back right now, <laughs> uh, the Seahawks. He's getting a lot of playing time. He is, he's, yeah. Patrick Queen, quite possibly defensive player of the year. We don't know. And then I get to be, I get to go with you. Nice. I get to go to the Super Bowl with you. Oh wait, I have to enter, and I don't have a three. I have a three-year-old. It's almost like Mickey Mouse Club, where we can go and interview players. That would be so awesome. <laughs> All right, so there is our fat packs from Absolute. Uh, I think I kind of won that round. But I didn't know. separate mine. Yeah, it's okay. You'll learn on the next one. Okay. What do you, what do you want to do? Uh, let's do, uh, let's go for the Aaron Rodgers pack. All right, we're going to do prestige, prestige blaster box here. We are guaranteed we have blue parallels and one autograph or memorabilia card per box. We have eight packs, eight cards, and guess who's, guess who's going to get four of them? This guy. Guess who's going to get the other four? Me. All right, eight packs, eight boxes. One for you, one for me, one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. Fire away. Let's see. Awesome. Memorabilia, can he pull it? Can he pull an autograph? So this is the actual packs? Nah. Just so they see the packages when they go when shopping? You, yeah. <laughs> well, if you can find it now, it's pretty much, it's, yeah. I mean, you'll still find it, you know, it's, it's not a premium mark prop, you know, but it's nice to have, especially early in the football season. All right, so what do we got here? J.J. Watt. Yeah, Texas, he's a Texas solid defensive player. Recovering from another injury. He's not a recovering alcoholic, though. We don't know about that yet. <laughs> uh, Robert Woods, great player as well. For the Rams. Get it together. Yeah, there there we go. And, oh, there's Gardner, the mustache. Yeah, the stash, oh. who's now a uh, backup quarterback. Josh Allen. He's having a hell of a year. Boom. He might what win the MVP. Got? Albert Wilson. Of the Dolphins. Dolphins. Tom, Tom Brady. Yes. This TB12. Maybe a collector's item. They win the. If they win ring. the Super Bowl, they could. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we're Mexico yeah. game. It's Phillip no big deal, but. Yeah. Rivers as a Charger. Who is now with the Colts. Yes, but. Oh. Oh, here we go. No, it's a rookie. It's a rookie. Tyler Johnson. Johnson. But. If he does well, it next couple worth seasons. Gold. Gold. And yeah, you another too. reporter. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That's gonna get old real quick, so we're just gonna quit doing the reporter thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pack number two, my pack number one here. We go. We have got Russell Wilson. Nice. Possibly the MVP. After, I mean, I still he's he's in the running. <laughs> you can you can have one game. You can have two bad games. So that's a hit just because of who he is. Uh, DJ Moore for the Panthers. That's a common. Deshaun Watson, a hit in my heart, because I like the guy, even though he's had a crappy, you know, not have anybody to throw to anymore. Javon Wims of the Bears. They're the Bears. The Bears, yeah, exactly. Jacoby Brissett, now the backup to Philip Rivers. We have Devin Singletary, now the backup to Zach Moss. <laughs> then we have Drew Brees inside the numbers. Nice. He's not having very many numbers this year because Michael Thomas has kind of been pulling dick moves with the team. And he just got injured too. Again, yeah. I yeah. Sarah, DJ Dallas. Thanks, we pulled the DJ yep. on the other one. 
It's a Halloween day. He's gonna bust out, and then you're gonna have a good card. And we'll, we'll see. I mean, come on. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. You need more running backs in Seattle because you just can't do it. Yeah, I know Seattle, it's it's by committee, but that's only because they're, they're sharing in the load from Marshawn Lynch. Lynch oh, back back in the days, yes. Yeah. All right, so what do we got here? We've got... First one, James Conner. Boom. The Steelers. Next one is... Uh, and Keel. Keel Harry from Patriots. Who's not doing too much for the Pats. But then again, when you got Cam Newton as your quarterback, no receiver's going to do anything because he's just going to... No, not at all. He's a ball hog. And then uh, Bryce Love, which that's kind of a shit show in Washington after uh, yeah. Darius Geis you heard about. Yeah. <laughs> Choking, yeah, pulling the choke out move on his girlfriend, whatever, dude. Yeah, that's a cream hunt move. <laughs> uh, Jason Peters. Cream hunt had a career at that point, so he could do it and get away with it. Mike Evans. Amazing nice. receiver. Oh, oh, what do we get? We got a McCaffrey McCaffrey jersey card. I don't know how to. Is it? That's the card. One? Oh, That's the card. Wow. I don't know if you could. Uh, nice. Take a look at this. It's a. It's a thicker card too. Yeah, it's definitely. Inside. I'd say by about a 120 point. I'm getting. I'm learning this stuff. Back that's up. a nice. That's a nice one because that's a name. Yeah. I pulled the Galladay last time, and but McCaffrey is definitely a name you want. Set that on the side. That's a definite hit right there. Awesome. And then I got a powerhouse, Saquon Barkley, Barks. Who is, his legs are barking because those Achilles, Achilles just don't, they don't work anymore. And then with the, uh, Josiah Deguerra from the Packers, and it's his rookie card. Yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. if he gets thrown to him. All right, yeah. McCaffrey's definitely the hit in that. So we pulled our memorabilia. It's all downhill from here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> all right, pack number four of Rippin' Packs with nice. Sean Dawes. We have got... <laughs> <laughs> they clicked the whole set. Ah, uh, Darius, guys, choke a bitch. Guess what, Darius? Here's what I think of you, brother. <laughs> Carry on Johnson for the Lions who lost his job. Well, we'll see if he comes back. We got James Washington of the Steelers. Nate Solder. I love collecting offensive linemen with who are with the Giants. He's he's gonna be a Hall of Famer though. One day, because yeah. he had a card as a player, as an offensive lineman. No, sorry. Sorry, Nate. You make a lot of money, you're a good dude, probably. Hunter Henry, who is with the Chargers, solid tight end, young tight end. Not good at fantasy though. Hey, he was good for me last year. And not this year for me. <laughs> Hakeem Hicks for the Bears. A solid, uh, solid defensive player. Juan Thornhill with the nice blue extra points, but it's Juan Thornhill. Yeah. Well. And then you got Trayvon Diggs, rookie card for the Cowboys. If he wasn't injured. Yeah. But he's a Diggs, so obviously he must be talented. All right, brother. Awesome. All right, let's go. Got two more here for you. Pack number well, this is number five. Three five. Pack number five. Three of the the box, though. I'm bad at math. You no, know, that's, that's pack is number. It? That's the fourth pack I just opened. That's pack number five. Oh. We yeah. opened two packs each. Yeah. Okay. We good at math. Yeah, real good. Uh, Brian Burns, Florida State alum. Oh yeah. Pretty good. Juno Smith. For the Titans. For the Titans. He's a receiver, right? Receiver or tight end? He is... A tight end. Tight end, oh. which uh forgotten. Hmm. Nobody throws him. <laughs> Jared Goff, oh, that's a keeper. Oh, totally. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's... That, that Everyone had high expectations. Hey, he's still even a serviceable the, quarterback. Even the contract had high expectations. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> even HBO, when they did Hard Knocks, had high expectations. <laughs> he's not a bad quarterback, but... Jason Pierre-Paul. Who lost a finger doing fireworks years ago. Yep. Evan Ingram. Ingram, sorry. Ingram, yeah. Ingram. Ingram Toenail. Yeah. <laughs> Good tight end. Uh, Tyrod Taylor, who hasn't seen <sighs> the field since, since week one. Since that. Since the uh, chest implosion, thanks to Doctor. Cooper Cup, highlight reel. I like Cooper Cup. Boom. He's, you know, he's an Eastern Washington kid, and, you know, he's, he's had a nice career in the NFL, which is Kyle great. Duggar. Patriots. Another pass card. How much he's played. He's a safety, so safety. obviously he's playing probably a decent amount. Yeah. All right, so I'd say that packed blue donkey. And we're kind of going to go downhill, I think, after we pull the McCaffrey. I think it's like more like more so it's the waiting to see packs. True. Because you get a lot of rookies here. True. We got another Marvin Jones. 
of the Jones Brothers. Not Jonas, Jones. Mm-hmm. Bobby Wagner for the Seahawks. Do you have anything nice. to add about him? Uh, great linebacker. He'll probably be in the Hall of Fame, so it's probably good. He'll at least keeper. be in the Ring of Honor. <laughs> <laughs> the, yes. the, the Flight of Honor. I don't know how, what they call Christian it. Christian McCaffrey of the... Not as good as the one he pulled, but it's a base card, but still McCaffrey. Not as thick. Yeah, not as thick. <laughs> it doesn't have a jersey included. Matt Breda. Says 49ers, but he's now in the Dolphins. I do miss you, Matt. I think you were a hell of a player. You played for anything. Love you. Injured on the Dolphins. You're going to my PC hit, because that's where my PC goes. You're going there. And then we have Roquan Smith of the Bears. Good, he's just on the Bears. Yeah. T.Y. Hilton, who's been on and off injured this year. Yeah. But even though you got Phil Rivers throwing to you now, dude. You got a great, another great quarterback. Then we have Duke, Snook, Johnson. Uh, now we're getting a little bit of chances to play uh, with David Johnson being out in yeah. Houston. It's a shame because once uh, Houston got David Johnson, he kind of took the back seat. Yeah, which, yeah. But any running back, they all take the back seat because they all kind of blew. Yeah. <laughs> then we have Jalen Rager for the Eagles. It's a minor hit, so I'm going to throw him in he's, my He's had a couple style. touchdowns this season. So. Yeah, I mean, their, their receivers are purely, they're not very healthy. Then we have Zach Moss, who is now the starting, well, Snap count wise, the starting running back in Buffalo. So that's a that's a that's a minor hit. All right, last pack of prestige for you. What are you gonna get, Sean? I can say that I'm not gonna get another McCaffrey like I did. No, you're not gonna. And I'm gonna go unless, on a hunch. Unless I, I don't know, maybe the, the card shufflers, unless they mess up. They could. They could. We can easily get somebody else's box of cards. All right, Dalvin Cook. Could win in the could win the MVP. Mm-hmm. I don't think he will, but he could. He had he's had an offensive year. Montez Sweat, which is a good pickup. No relation to Keith. Keith Sweat. <laughs> or CNC uh, Music Factory. Romeo uh, Acor. 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 Yeah. Acor. The end. Good For edge rusher. Yeah. Just bad team. Bad coach. It's the Lions. <laughs> Who might get fired? Any, any coach for the Lions is a bad coach. Here's another Hall of future oh. Hall of Famer. The Colts. Solid. Quentin Nelson. Mm, name just rolls off your tongue. Sutton, which is the number one for the Denver Broncos right now. He's a good receiver. All right, so we're going to finish up. We got uh, Casey Hayward. Okay. Good pickup. Hey, Mahomes. We, we got a name, a legit nice. name. Inside the numbers, Mahomes. His numbers were quite fine. Now, let me know, like, what, what's the difference between this card and then the regular cards? Because this is just a numbers. basic insert, but, you know, when you get a guy like Mahomes, you know, or, you know, Lamar Jackson, it's just a specialty card where, honestly, it's nice, but you kind of want to pull their base because it's, you know, like a card like this because it's just, okay. it's just a nicer pull. And for some reason, these don't have as much value, even though they, they're not as easy to get. Well, that sucks. So, yeah. I mean, it's still Mahomes. Oh, well. Yeah. All right. <laughs> State, uh, State Farm is Patrick Mahomes. Okay, so we got uh, Tommy Stevens for the Saints. Nice. Uh, quarterback one day, maybe, in the future. Anthony McCar- McFarlane, which is an awesome pickup. Yes. Hold on. Is that a gold? Oh, no. It's just standard silver. It just looks gold because it's, it's the gold. Steelers. I was deceived. Yes. All right. So the Mahomes is the best thing in that one. So let's see if I can get the Aaron Rodgers and we can complete the entire State Farm commercial team here. <laughs> Discount double check. Ah, oh, yeah. Pack number eight of Prestige. We have D.D. Westbrook. Who, I don't even know what he's doing this year. I, I don't think he knows what he's doing this he's year. He's a Jaguars receiver, so that's all I know. Jared Cook, who's... You go to the Saints, you go play, you got to do recertainty, you're going to do decent. doesn't matter who you are. Well, unless you have Winston thrown to you. That's true, which is going to happen this week. 50-50 ball, whether yeah. to him or the... Or the team. Hey, he led the team in <laughs> touchdowns both ways. Yeah. <laughs> And then we have Adrian Amos. It's a good pickup. I don't know this guy at all, actually. Khalil Mack, the solid linebacker for the uh, for the uh, Bears. Bears. Uh, Worth it. Well, I lived in Chicago for a while. <laughs> I knew. Yeah, he was. He is. I actually have his jersey. I bought it there because I might use it for if a commercial needed it. It's kind of funny, actually. I got it for like ten bucks at Target. Then Tony Pollard nice. of the Cowboys, running back, backup extraordinaire to Ezekiel Elliott. Which Bradley. I think he has a better uh, yards per, average. Per, yeah, yeah. In, in all honesty, I mean, Tony Pollard would be a starter on most other teams. Bradley Chubb for the uh, for the Broncos. Why am I pulling up names that just are like, I'm pulling like, maybe he's going to go to the Packers. I was going to say You just Packers. need to nickname him Chubbs. Yeah. I got Bradley Chubbs. Hey, nice oh. youth movement. Nice. Patrick Mahomes. So it's a nice little 
Again, it's in that same thing. It's you're getting an insert card. This is a nice, yeah, it's a nice one. See, I get upset because that's a shiny card. Yeah, it you should be worth more. You don't get the shiny card. <laughs> Damon Arnett, rookie for the Raiders. Nice. I think he's going to be really good in the future as a corner. Oh, I mean, the Raiders are just the Las Vegas Raiders. It's so hard to like. They're still because I'm. They're still the Oakland Raiders to me, even though they were the LA Raiders and the Oakland Raiders and the LA Raiders and the Oakland Raiders. Now the Vegas Raiders. What's next? The San Antonio Raiders? Yeah. But they have an awesome stadium. Hopefully you'll pull that, that footage mm -hmm. up at the stadium because it's nice. It is a nice stadium. It's, yeah, it's freaking weird, dude. <laughs> it looks like the Death Star. They call it Darth Vader, so. And it's more expensive than the Dallas Cowboy Stadium. I'm oh, sure. totally. That's awesome. Yeah, which is, but it's, yeah, but they got it for free. They got the land for free, pretty much, because they moved there, so they had a sweetheart of a deal, which is hilarious. Oh, it. deal under the table, oh, mafia yeah. style, yeah. Yeah, their training facility, <laughs> they, got, they got everything they wanted to move to Vegas which I'm sure that they would have done anyway. They would have gone to San Antonio. They would have gone to Shreveport, Louisiana if they got that deal. That's yeah. just what the Raiders do. <laughs> All right, so we did pretty well there with, uh, I mean, we got the McCaffrey, uh, you know, swatch and a couple, a couple uh, you know, Mahomes. So we didn't do too bad with Prestige, but yeah. then again, you're, you know, that's what you pull at Prestige. You do, too, you do okay. So next up, let's move to Donner's. Yeah, let's do it. Donruss football. First time I actually opened a Donruss uh, blaster on the channel. So, Donruss, we have eight packs, 11 cards. You know what that counts to? 88 cards. It says right here on the box, 88 cards. My math is good. He's going to get four packs. I'm going to get four packs. And there evidently is another possibility of memorabilia or a magnet card in this thing. All right. Nice. One for you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, you. Wait a minute. That's 11 packs with eight cards. My math is bad, yo. All right. Let me move these off of the deck a little bit. Okay. And guess what? You, my friend, are leading off. Okay. Pack number one of 11 of Donruss. 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 Russ. Don Russ and Don. All right, who we got here? All right, we got, starting off, hey. Greg Olson, who is no longer a with Panther. Panther. But or he is with the? Seahawks. Yeah. Yeah. Who pulled it out tonight, last night. Alvin Kamara. Awesome. Now, what's the difference in the, the the cards in the Donruss are do they have any like special gold ones or they they have some different variations like you're gonna pull a red one here pretty soon and okay. the and the variations I mean they're they're doing that Richard Sherman that's right that's a niner that's a hit for me but not for him okay. oh we have sweetness sweetness Walter Payton yeah so right there nice okay. Nick Bosa I like it it's a press proof press proof is obviously their way of doing a insert which is a limited edition. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, that's a nice card there. So what's the value difference between the, the press proof? Press proof's just a limited run, a okay. little bit more limited. So you're talking about if you pull press proof of a card, it's probably gonna be about 20, 30% more than the base is. Okay, so cool. you want a press proof of a, of a star or a rookie. Nice. Really. So Micaiah Becton, who uh, did awesome at the combine. Cause you can see him running really hard there. <laughs> He's gonna be another offensive lineman that's gonna have a long, awesome career. Adams, who's been killing it. This year, Devonta Adams from the Packers. What else we got? We got Devonta pa Parker again from the Dolphins. Yeah. Which is so yeah, yeah, yeah. The Nick Bosa was the best yeah. card you pulled out of there. So let's see what I get. See if I can top that. I mean, all right, here we go. Pack number two of Don Ross, Drew Bledsoe, former uh, Washington State Cougar. Nice. Yeah. Of uh, the Patriots. And a man who uh, gave up the mantle to. To, to yes, to Tom Brady. If it wasn't for blood, so starting Brady wouldn't be the, you know, the performer he is today. Probably. Brady doesn't like that <laughs> yeah, aspect of his career, though. Julian Edelman, speaking of Patriots. Nice. Then we got Jamal Adams, now a Seahawk. That's right. Hawk, hawk. Hawk, hawk. Jalen Ramsey of the Rams, the shutdown, uh, shutdown corner. Is he corner? Expensive Short. corner. Yes. <laughs> and then we have Tyrell Williams of. I don't know why this seems like a Northwest pole for some reason, but he's from actually Medford, Oregon. He played at Southern Oregon like Tech or some really random, but he's playing in the NFL, so that's pretty yeah. awesome. And he was the number one until they uh, drafted Riggs. Yeah. <laughs> then we have Javon Kinlaw, 
of the Niners. One of their, uh, I think there was their first round pick uh, after, uh, uh, before Ayuk this year. So that's a hit for me. Uh, Big Ben, who's having a hell of a year this year. Yep. Well, the team is. Undefeated. Yes. And then we have Travis Kelsey. Nice. I don't need to say anything about him because, you know, we all know he's pretty good tight end. Yeah. All right, brother. And then, yeah, I'm not doing nice. that. Nice. All right. See what we get. Pack number two. Pack number two for Sean, but pack number three in the box. Okay. All right, here we go. We got Hunter Henry. Okay. Nice. We got Austin Eckler. Who is going to be coming back soon? Yeah. Cor Courtney, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Corlin Sutton. He's Courtney to you. Sutton. We have Jim Kelly. Yes. If you don't know who Jim Kelly is, you don't know your football. Mm -hmm. No. And you know that he, if you do know your football, you know you lost four Super Bowls. Yes, but it was close <laughs> sometimes. Yes. Marlon Mack, great running back that lost his job. <laughs> Thanks to an injury. <laughs> yep. Uh, Andrew Thomas, a rookie. Who's going to be in the league for quite some time? He's on the jet. Yeah, the mom, I hope so. <laughs> uh, Jack Lambert, oh, another Hall of Famer, Hall of Fame flashback from the Steels, Steelers, and Joe Mixon had a little legal trouble. That's right, a few years back. But uh, but he's panning out. He's yeah, and he's not getting as much running because of Burrow throwing this year, but. Yeah. yeah, he's also been injured last, uh, last, I mean, I think he came back last week, but yeah. Well, I mean, I guess in, it's an excuse if you're on the Bengals. That's true, because, yeah, you're the Bengals. <laughs> Pack number four, we have got Daniel Hunter of the Vikings. Nice. Golden Taint, Tate of the Giants. I always like saying that, Golden Taint. <laughs> and then we have, because I'm 12, uh, David Montgomery of the Bears, who... Yeah, he's the only running back there right now. Rotation, yeah. <laughs> Cole Holcomb. I've never heard of this guy, Cole Holcomb. So, Mr. and Mrs. Holcomb, congratulations. Your son's playing in the NFL. Nice. Uh, Dwayne Haskins. We pulled him earlier in, I believe, Prestige or Which, Absolute. He may be but, traded. I mean, come on. He's, <laughs> you don't know what's going on in Washington anymore. Then we have Tua. Nice. nice. Rated rookie Tua from the Dolphins. That's a nice little hit right there. All right. Who's now the starter? And Geno Atkins for the Bengals. And then Deontay Johnson, the wide receiver, giving uh, Juju a run for his money in Pittsburgh. Yeah, he's been doing pretty good. Okay, Tua right now is the big card. Tua. Tua, rated rookie. Guess it was good to tank for him. Yeah, exactly. Well, they didn't really tank. They still pick seven, so. Derwin James Jr. For awesome. the charges. Florida State safety. Casey Hayward. See, there you go, right there. Okay, cool. Yeah. Boom. Bradley Chubbs. Oh, Chubster. I always, I always get a Chubb when I think of Bradley. Nice. Derwin, uh, Darren Waller, who's Ooh. a sneaky tight end that's been doing really well on the Raiders. He's like one of the top tight ends in the game right now, actually. Miles Jack, uh, linebacker from USC. UCLA. Or UCLA, yeah. sorry. He's from Westwood, not people, South. People get upset. Not South LA. Oh. Isaiah Simmons. Nice. Another rated rookie, rookie card. Yeah, definitely. No, another combine card. Zach Ertz. Who just came, he was coming back this week, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Lamar Jackson. Lamar, that's a, that's a base hit, that's a base hit. Yeah. So yeah, Lamar. Awesome. All right, so still pulling with Tua there. Tua's still doing the, still Tua's still doing it for me. Pack number five. Yeah. And here we go. We got Bobby Wagner, another Bobby Wagner nice. for the Hawks. 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 Then we have Jared Cook. I think we pulled this exact same pack with <laughs> a different brand a minute ago. Identical. Buddha Baker. Okay, so we're not pulling the same pack. <laughs> Buddha's good. He's been in good safety this year. Carry on Johnson, who has lost his job and might get it back now. Then we have, nice, the Elite Series with uh, Jalen Rager, Elite Series rookies. Cool. That's a, that's a hit, although two is still a better card. And then we have Dalton Keene. This guy sounds like he belongs in uh, Laguna Hills somewhere. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Dalton Keene. I'm surfing the waves, bro. Dalton Keene, he's a rookie, so he's kind of going in my hit pile. Carson Wentz of the Eagles. And Akib Talib. Play for the Dolphins, but it says nice. the Rams. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pack number six of Donners on Rippin' Packs. I gotta beat. With Sean Dawes. 
Isaiah Simmons. You gotta beat Isaiah. Not literally, I mean his parents would appreciate that, but yeah. You know, I'm gonna go backwards right now. I'm gonna oh, go really? Mahomes. Nice. I Boom. don't even see him. There he is. There he is. Boom. Right there. That's Mahomes. a that's a hit. That's a hit. That's oh, a hit. hit? Okay. That's a total hit. It's right, Pat Mahomes. Put him yeah, he's 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 the uh he's the star of the Alshon Jeffrey? Oh. Alshon. And then Devin Juvenay. Rated rookie. So Juvenay there's there's a hit. Boom. There's a hit. Still two is still there. Deshaun. Okay, I'll take my Deshaun. Watson. That's a, that's a base card though. I mean it's a yeah. regular card. I like Deshaun, you go into my hit pal, but in basic stuff, no. Alright, we'll go, we'll go. Oh, you're gonna go the other way now. Forward now. Alright, so we got McCaffrey. I don't see him. I don't see McCaffrey. Okay. Yeah, there. Right there. Oh no, no, a little further back. There we go. There's McCaffrey. Oh, I see him there now. He is. Boom. I see him now. He's on fire. He's a hit, by the way. Oh, he's a hit. Okay. He's a hit. So he's Christian McCaffrey. All right. So Baker Mayfield, is that a hit? Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> maybe maybe in, a, in Austin, Texas, he's, he's a hit. several interceptions away from being a hit. <laughs> uh, Jason Pierre-Paul, fingerless, that's what we call him. Yes, finger-licking defensive end. And Gurley. Todd Gurley. Comeback season. He could win Comeback Player of the Year. He could. Yeah, I mean, he's sad. I'm going to put year. that in the hit pile because who knows? All right, we got, what do we got? Uh, we got four four packs left here, and we still don't have our memorabilia or magnet or whatever the F we're going to get here. We have Dulock for the Broncos. I don't know what the big hype is on this guy, but evidently he's a good. He was supposed to be like the next Drew Brees, and then John Elway talked to him, and I think oh. that's what, yeah. And then Trevor Story lost his job. And he's like, John Elway was like, yeah, you'll be just like me. No. And, and then he was sold. <laughs> Amari Cooper of the Cowboys, who now does not have a quarterback to throw to him. Yep. Devin Singletary, again, uh, the uh, former running back, back of Buffalo. Then we have Kenny Stills, who, yes, he does play for the Texans, but I don't think he's, he's caught a pass. still in the league. He's Kenny Stills in the league. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Odell Beckham with there the 1990 Donruss. Now, if it was a better player, I'd be all over this, but it's Odell who is... Yeah. Dude. I don't think it, if it, even if it was a baseball card, it would be worth more. In yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, hey, Odell, just keep eating that. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not good. <laughs> Darnell Mooney, rookie card for the Bears. I'll take the Darnell Mooney over the Odell right now. Come on. It's not even a hit, but it's a hit in my book. Minka. We already discussed Minka being a stud. Yep. And then we have Chris Jones, defensive nice. stud. Stud. For the Chiefs. Yeah. Three packs left. No memorabilia or magnet. I don't even know what these magnets are. I've actually never seen one. So I've never seen one of these magnets. Oh, you should look in my fridge. <laughs> got a we'll lot go right, of those. In, right there next to the pizza. Pizza guy. Alright, so we got uh, Dalvin Cook again. Nice. Boom. Dalvin. Saquon Barkley. Okay, we're we got two stud running backs right now. We're good. Justin Tucker. Ooh. Oh, the kicker. Clutch. Yeah. Clutch mm. tuck. That screams awesome like a kick card. All right, and then uh, Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill. Yep. Not doing too well. We're gonna put oh, him. Oh, oh, oh. What's this? What's, what's this? What's this? Is this a? Oh, this is a memorabilia. Go. Do you wanna? You can check him out. It's James Morgan. Who? Some people like him. Rookie phenoms with the jersey. So what? Is, what is the back? Because it has a little patch in the back. What is that? That's the front, dude. That's oh, the that's front. the front. That's okay. the front. Yeah. No, this is a jersey swatch. Oh, okay. And so they always say it's jersey, but I'm like, okay, so did James Morgan ever put on a jersey before they made this card? Technically, in the picture, it looks like it, but did they just take it off his, you know, take it off him and say, dude, hey, James, come on. I mean, right now, I mean, Sam Darnold will be gone next year, and James Morgan might be the guy. I don't know. He went to Florida International, you know, uh, where, uh, what's his butt? Um, the former uh, Raiders uh, USC coach. Um, Carroll? No, no. The oh, thirty-five-year-old. Uh, no, no, not Gruden. You said coach, though. Yeah, he was a head coach. Um, I, I'm drawing a blank on him. I'll put him down below okay. who his name is. But yeah, he's one of those arrogant. He was an offensive coordinator. He's a wizard, but he's like thirty years old. Well, anyway, James Morgan went to that college, and now he's playing for the Jets. And we have his jersey card. So, James Morgan, do something for me. You know, play some games. Do something good. You know, beat out, uh, beat out Flacco. Yeah, that's a hit. I. I guess. I mean, it's not really, I'm not getting a chubby over him, but yeah. It's a hit. It's a hit. It's when, a hit. When they win. Yes, when they, yeah, when they win. <laughs> Josiah Dig Digaria? Digaria? And I still don't know what the magnet yeah. card is because I haven't seen one. All right. And we have 
Joe Montana. Ah, no, nice. not Montana, yeah, not the actor. It's anyway, Montana, but he he's was, playing for the Chiefs. Yeah, he was in that card. So uh. he was a 49er, won some Super Bowls. Yeah, he won a couple. Didn't win that. any with the Chiefs. No, but he did. He did take him to the promised land a couple times. And then we got Hardman Jr. Nicole Hardman Jr. From the Chiefs. Awesome yeah. card as well. All right, so right now, I mean, you got I got the two up, but the. I mean, you're gonna get this in the car. You're gonna get the James Morgan, you know, memorabilia card in there. So, yeah. Is that common, like, as far as you, when you open packs? Mm -hmm. Have you got a lot of the cards where it's like a special card, but they're not necessarily elite? Yeah, that's almost always. Because oh. you're not gonna get, you want the names, but realistically, the names you're gonna get are gonna be like the fourth round draft pick and guys like that. Okay. Because they wanna make it a rarity when you get a Tua or a Burroughs or, a, you know, any name. And then, like the box like this, you know, with the blaster boxes, you're always guaranteed, depending on the product, you're guaranteed yeah. a product, a autograph or a memorabilia. Your world is always getting memorabilia, where the autograph's a little harder to come by. That's bullshit. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> My final pack of Donner's football, we have got Lel T, Ladanian Tomlinson, nice. running back great for the San Diego Chargers, not the Los Angeles Chargers. Hall of Famer. Yes. Then we have. Stephon Gilmore of the Pats. And Josh Allen, not the quarterback for the Bills. There's like nine Josh Allens in the league. Yeah. <laughs> then we have Curtis Samuel of the Panthers. He caught a couple passes the other day. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, 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 <laughs> he's that's all I can say. Teddy Bridgewater's thrown to yeah. him. Uh, Garner, who is back on the bench for the Jaguars, as we mentioned earlier. Jerry Judy, nice, nice. of the Broncos. Probably gonna be the number one there over Cortland, but in due time. So that's a definite hit there. And then we have Jerome Baker of the Dolphins, a linebacker. And the final card is A.A. Ron nice. Rogers. That is my version of Donner's football 2020. Sean's got one more pack here. You gonna you gonna you gonna beat me? Yes, I might. If I get the signature. You, I have not I've mentioned before, I have not pulled a Burroughs at all on this channel yet, so. I think a Burroughs is due here. I think we're gonna pull Joe Burroughs, rated rookie. Let's see. Let's see, let's do this. Joe Burroughs, rated rookie, got three, it. two, and. Got some Thielen. That's not Joe Burroughs. I'm feeling the Thielen. Got a feeling in the power, oh. Thielen. Good card. Uh, Shepard, Sterling Shepard from the Giants. Receiver, he's been doing pretty well. Um, not the number one in head receiver they hoped, but. Uh, hey, but neither is Daniel Jones, their quarterback. <laughs> Sneed. Um, Willie Sneed, yeah. Yeah, he's decent. Got uh, Josh Jacobs. Another Josh. Nice. Good, 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 good. Oh, and then, oh what's nice. this? That's a nice Working little gridiron. That's Clyde. That's a good that's a good one. It's Clydesdale. Clyde Edwards Heller, C E H. Yeah, Rookie car. That's a that's a nice that's a hit. That's a hit. Good pick him. That's a definite hit. Got to Quint Safe Syphus. Syphilis. 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 He's got Syphilis. Syphilis. Quintez Syphilis. Rookie. From the Lions. So we got we got uh, Tom Brady again. Oh, TB12. Yep. Uh, with uh, Tom Bay. And Brett Favre. Oh, so we ended oh. it. I ended with Aaron Rodgers. He ended with Favre. Ben, uh, Brett Favre. All right, so I, Clyde Edwards is a nice hit. Uh, so there's that. I would definitely say Clyde Edwards is a, a solid hit as well. Um, but I'm going to lean on the tolerated rookie. But yeah. I mean, we're supposed to get the the paraphernalia card, the memorabilia card, so we're signature. supposed to get this. No, we only get one. Oh. oh, it's either or? Yeah, it's either or. Well, that's stupid. Uh-huh. Can we trade that in? Can you? Yeah, but it? who's going to give us anything that's worth a shit? Don Ross. All right, and our last pack is the cello pack of Mosaic Football. So we got 15 total cards in here, two packs of six cards, and one bonus pink pack of three cards. And me being the nice, gracious host that I am, I'm going to let Sean open that last pack. So here we go with Mosaic. Get ready to. Uh, Are you doing that because it's pink? Stop it. <laughs> Get ready to be enthralled by how he's never actually opened Mosaic. I don't think he's ever actually seen Mosaic. Um, awesome. All right, so Sean, fire it up. Pack number one of Mosaic football. Six cards. Open so easy. It's so delicate with the package. What do we got? All right, we got. Taryn Matthew. Nice. Of the Kenny Badger Kansas Don't Care. Chiefs. All right, and we got Tyler Boyd, who's gone to number three receiver, number two. Yeah, AJ Green's still at number one, kind of. Uh, he's about to be traded. That's what kind of. So we got Debo. Debo. That's my boy Debo right there. 
You got a, oh, John Riggins. A fine Washington. young running back. National. National. Treasure. Treasure, yes. That, uh, the ter National Treasure, terrible move with Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Cowboy. Ooh. Roger. Cool. Staubach. Staubach. Then we have A.J. Dillon running back for the Green Bay Packers. That's a hit. The NFL debut, but it's a hit. All right, let's see if I can pull something here out of pack number two. You still have yeah. the pink. The pinks are some good parallels. Pink number two, here we go. We have got Luke Keekley of nice. the Panthers. He's no longer playing. He actually had too many concussions. He's retired. He was a monster. Hall of Famer. Yeah, well, <laughs> everybody's a Hall of Famer to you. <laughs> hey, he's got Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. We got Peyton Manning, then of the Colts, but later of the Broncos. But we know deep down in our heart, he's a University of Tennessee product. He's a Colt. He's a Colt. Peyton Manning. Super Bowl winner. Looks like it's a base card as well. That's kind of a hit because he's Peyton Manning. Jalen Ramsey of the Rams. Um, lockdown. Yeah, lockdown corner. Then we have nice. We have Jeff Okuda mm. with the mosaic parallel. If only this was, I mean, Okuda's a great player. Don't get me wrong. But if, if it was only a uh, you know quarterback, maybe a running back, I would be totally cool with that. Whatever. It is what it is. But hey. Uh, Jeff Okoda. Well, just wait two years to be an all pro and then it'll yeah. be worth it. And then another uh, flea flicker with Lamar, Mark Ingram, and Marquise Brown for the Ravens. It's my second time I pulled this. So if anybody out there likes the Ravens, you know, you know where to hit me up at. Yeah. I'm on the interwebs. Yeah. And tradable. I'll, it's tradable. Actually, most of the stuff's tradable, you know, except for some things. That's kind of a hit. And then we have Kenneth Murray. Nice. The linebacker rookie for the Chargers, who are not doing too good this year, but hey, it doesn't matter because they're the Chargers. He's getting some playing time. He is. He's playing a lot. So, all right. So there's pack number two of the cello pack. So we did okay. We did okay. So we have now we have the pink pack coming, and the pink pack, three pink cards. Let's get something good here. That's all, I mean. I know that's my little saying, but let's get something good because these parallels are always nice to get some goodies out of. Mm -hmm. All right, pink parallels. Here you go, Sean. What are we gonna get? We got Aaron Jones. Aaron A Aaron Jones. Okay, that's a uh... Tiki. Oh, 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 we're not doing too hot here. Oh. A rookie of Lamichael Pirine for the Jets. So but she's starting now, but yeah, I mean that's, that's it. he has a career. I mean, so that no quarterbacks. Yeah. So there you have it. There is uh there is. Absolute, Prestige, Donruss, Mosaic. I think we covered a lot of the current Panini brand of football products in this episode. A lot of football was opened. So what are the rankings between like these packs that we opened? If, I'd say the top would be Mosaic, obviously. Okay. Um, and then I would go Absolute, and then I would go Donruss, and then I go Prestige. Okay. So, I mean, kind of almost in the order we opened, except for Absolute. What would you look at like for these cards? like? your local sports shop or can you get them anywhere? You will normally you'd be able to go anywhere to get them. But uh, yeah, Target, Walmart, you can go usually find these at, but good luck finding a jack squat right now. Um, and the card shops are gonna have them. Um, Mosaic's always gonna be a little bit more overpriced. Uh, Absolute is the most prevalent right now in the field and then Donruss. Uh, Prestige is gone. You'll you can get those for you know you can find you'll find them down the road somewhere. But Prestige they 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 came out around I want to say uh, August time frame. So I mean you'll find these, but I mean when it's all said and done, Mosaic is. But when it's all said and done, Mosaic is kind of like your bread and butter. That's your and then Prism, which is going to come out soon. That's going to be your top of the line card. But Mosaic and Prism, in my in my my opinion, Mosaic and Prism two are the they're your they're your they're either and or. Just because you have so many different varying options out there. Nice. But yeah, I mean, we had a lot of fun. We opened some football. Yeah. We, we talked crap, and and his Niners won. Uh, his uh, Seahawks won yesterday, and my Niners. They, did. they might. They'll play a game on Sunday. Actually, they won't. They're on a bye. So, yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching Rippin' Packs. This has been my buddy Sean. We ripped some football, and I will see you, and maybe he will see you again down the road, and I'll see you on Monday.